Hello, my name is Kirsten. Welcome to TOEFL land. Today, let's talk about writing task number two. And writing task number two requires two different ideas. So I had a student this week and we were working on this um, principle, this idea, okay? And this is working with the structure, right? As we know, in writing task number two, we get a topic that asks for our opinion. We give our opinion, which is the answer to the question or otherwise known as our thesis. And then we provide two supporting paragraphs that have two different ideas to support our opinion. And then we have a conclusion. Now, there are some people out there that might want to write three supporting paragraphs, that's great. And that means you would have three different ideas. But today, just for our example, I'm gonna work with two supporting paragraphs. Okay, so that means two different ideas. Let me show you what I mean by this. So I'm gonna share um, my screen with you here and let's take a look at this question, okay? It says, some people like to shop in large supermarkets. Others prefer to shop in small local shops. Which do you prefer and why? Okay, so the first thing that you wanna do is write down on a piece of paper your ideas, okay? This is where it really counts, that you're coming up with two different ideas to support your opinion. So for my student, she wrote, for shopping, supermarkets are best. That was her opinion. And let's take a look at topic sentence number one, otherwise known as idea number one. Your topic sentence, of course, is going to be the first sentence of your supporting paragraph. So I wrote it in sentence form. First, supermarkets offer a selection from many different countries. Okay, that's idea number one, topic sentence number one. Topic sentence number two was also, there are a variety of seasonings that supermarkets provide. Okay, so there are two ideas here, but are they different enough? Because this first one is there's a selection from many different countries and there's a variety of seasonings. So they are a little bit different, but do you see how they're really very similar? <laughs> Right, it's like, she's gonna talk about in this paragraph, oh, there's such a variety from all these different countries. I can get this, I can get this, I can get this, and there's variety. And do you see how idea number two also talks about variety? Oh, I can get this seasoning, this seasoning, this seasoning. Do you see how this seasoning could be from different countries? And you see if I'm up here talking about different countries, I could start to talk about, oh, I can get this seasoning that's um, an Indian kind of spice, right? So there is a danger, danger, danger <laughs> of sounding the same through your whole essay here. So let's take a look at a better distinction between two different ideas. So I still have my argument supermarkets are best. Topic sentence number one, first supermarkets offer a wide variety of foods to choose from. So now I can talk about in my example how foods can come from different countries, I can get my variety of seasonings, or whatever my examples are for different kinds of food. Topic sentence number two says, also, supermarkets give customers great deals on items and they can save money. Different idea, okay? So I've got my variety of foods idea and I've got, wow, I can save money. So that's another advantage of supermarkets. 
okay? So that's what you're gonna go for is two different ideas. Try to avoid sounding the same. Okay, let's talk about a different question here. Here's another question. Some people prefer to study in the morning. Others prefer studying in the evening. Which do you prefer and why? Okay, so I came up with the idea that studying in the evening is best. That's what I prefer. That's my answer to the question. My topic sentence number one, studying at night provides an opportunity for many creative ideas to flow. Hmm. Okay, that's an idea. Topic sentence number two, at night, the mind is free to think of different topics and form connections between them. Oh, so again, I have two topic sentences, but they're very similar because this one's talking about creative ideas flowing. This one's talking about freedom to think of different topics. So creative ideas, free to think of different topics. Do you see how those two are very, very similar? It's gonna be very hard for me to come up with two distinct examples to support those, right? So here's my second try. A better way to go about this would be to do something like this. So studying in the evening is best. Topic sentence one, studying at night provides an opportunity for many creative ideas to flow. Okay, so I've got my idea one still there. And then sentence number two, topic sentence number two, also, the silence of night allows students to focus on their studies. Okay, now that is a different and distinct topic idea. Okay, so maybe in topic sentence number one, or sorry, paragraph number one, supporting paragraph number one, my example might be how I can write papers, right? Um, because writing papers is part of your studying as a student. And when you write papers, you need to be creative, your ideas flow. I can give a specific example of when I was working on my English literature paper late at night, and I came up with so many different ideas to put in my essay, um, that I was writing about, and it was only at night that my creative mind could really come alive for writing about this essay on Charles Dickens, for example. Okay, the more specific you get, um, the better your writing becomes. Also, in topic sentence number two, let's come up with my example here. So, my example might be that in my house, it gets quiet at night at 11 p.m. when everybody goes to bed, everybody is in bed. And that's when I can really come alive and focus on my, let's say I am studying for a chemistry test. Um, if I were to do this in the morning, um, Everyone is awake at 6 a.m. and the kitchen is already noisy. Um, there are already sounds of the, you know, um, let's say the juicer going. And maybe there are children in my house, they're running around already. So I couldn't possibly focus. I have to focus at 11 p.m. Everybody is in bed, it's nice and quiet. And now I can focus on memorizing all those important chemistry formulas and equations and um, all the things that I need to know for chemistry. All right. So I hope that helps you out. When you plan your essay, you will come up with two different and distinct ideas separate from each other so that your paragraphs will sound different. Um, and that you're not repeating the same idea over and over and over again. All right, I hope that helps. And until next time, 
I will see you. Please like if you um, enjoyed this video and subscribe to Tofu Land. There's more coming your way soon. Blessings, everybody. Happy studying.